Hey everybody, uh, welcome back. Uh, just wanted to share a video of an area that I ride super, super often. Uh, it's a really cool area. It's pretty popular. You can see all the cars and trailers and stuff. People ride up here all the time because uh, the single track up here is uh, really, really, really good. <laughs> One of the trickiest parts of riding up here as I pass that cyclist uh, is <laughs> all of the pedestrian traffic. There's a lot of hikers, uh, mountain bikers, and uh, also other motorcycles. So if you come up here on, say, a Saturday afternoon, like I did during this ride, you definitely have to keep your eyes peeled uh, and be prepared to come across some hikers, mountain bikers, etc. You got to be super careful. So typically when I come up here, I, I actually try to do it on like a weekday or uh, if I do come on a Saturday, I try to come like before the sun is up uh, uh, to avoid a, a lot of that uh, trail traffic. And as I say that, I came across these uh, bikes on the trail. They were like mountain bikes, but they had electric motors on them. Uh, and they were pretty cool. I was kind of jealous. No, I wasn't jealous. That's a lie, but they were cool and they were running a pretty good pace. Um, I caught up to them here and then uh, I let off and kind of let them, I created some space between me and them uh, and then passed them eventually, but uh, they were cool little bikes. video is kind of chopped up a little bit because uh, I just took some little segments of sections that I liked uh, but I did a pretty small loop and a lot of the trail uh, looks uh, similar like it all looks kind of the same um, but this trail system uh, in this area is is pretty intricate and it goes all over the mountain you can find some really cool technical stuff uh, early in the year, there's cool logs and stuff. Uh, those usually get cut out, but it's a super cool area. But uh, this particular day, I did a pretty short, pretty simple loop just because of uh, time constraints. Yeah. 
wanted to include this section in the video just so you can see i mean look at all these guys this place is so popular and these trails get hammered every weekend for sure i mean there was probably like 12 or 15 guys uh riders in that group so uh, it gets a little bit wild up here you gotta be careful and then i came across these guys too who had just fallen off the trail uh and had to kind of go around them and i get stuck here because i went off the trail to let them go past and then i got stuck in the same spot where uh where they had fallen off the trail and had to push my bike out kind of a cool spot uh where the trail opens up into uh a campground and it's up on the top of this this uh plateau i guess and you get an awesome view of the mountains uh the surrounding mountains so this is a really cool spot and i wanted to include it so you could see this is kind of part two of the loop where i started coming back down uh off the top of the mountain that i had kind of climbed up to uh, and I came across this cool log crossing on the trail and had some drama. It didn't look too gnarly, so I just tried to hop over it, but there was sticks piled up on the backside, uh, and my front wheel just got caught up in those and stopped me dead in my tracks. I flipped right over the handlebars and, uh, no damage though. Came out unscathed for the most part. Just got a little dirty and bruised up. I got the bike out of here and uh, I cleared all those sticks out so I could take another shot at it. I just wanted to show you a quick shot of all the sticks being cleared out. But I came down here, turned around and took another stab at it. That's what it should have looked like the first time I did it, <laughs> but doesn't always go as planned, I guess. Like I mentioned earlier, a lot of this trail kind of looks the same, so I just got a bunch of chopped up little tiny sections here. But then to add insult to injury, I just came around this corner and front wheel washed right out that dirt was so dry and loose and i just totally lost it so i ate it on the log and then just coming around a simple switch back i wiped out again two in one day it was a rough rough go
So that's a little preview of uh, an area that I ride a ton. Uh, it's really close to where I live and the single track is great. And there's, even though it's not shown in this video very much, there's a great variety of terrain uh, if you know where to go. So um, hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, please subscribe and uh, like the video and uh, drop some comments if you want. Uh, definitely always interested in connecting with other riders whether that's here on YouTube or out here on the trails. So um, thanks again for watching and look forward to seeing you out here on the trails.